Humanoid robots are not just a concept from science fiction anymore. They have become a part of our reality, and this time around, they are not around here only to help in mundane warehouse tasks. In today's video, we'll look into the incredible reality of fully functioning female robots. Acroid While Geminoid F, a lifelike robot created by the Japanese firm Kukoro, has garnered significant attention for its striking resemblance to a real woman. Another robot from the same company, Atroid SIT, has quietly been making strides in autonomous functionality. Unlike Geminoid F, which requires teleportation, Atroid SIT can interact with people independently, engaging in conversations and gestures. Recent advancements in Atroid's behavior have made it appear more intelligent and expressive. The robot now actively makes eye contact and gestures towards individuals, making it more adept and managing interactions with crowds. To achieve this, researchers from the NARA Institute of Science and Technology studied how people interact with robots and implement two key features, interruptibility and motion parameterization. The interruptibility feature allows Actroid SIT to gracefully handle interruptions during conversations. In experiments, researchers found that interruptions occur frequently, with people often switching topics or passing the speaking role to others. Previously, the robot would continue speaking regardless, leading to awkward interactions. With the new feature, Actroid can smoothly transition to address the new topic, leading to longer and more engaging interactions with people. Nadine Scientists at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore introduced Nadine, a humanoid robot with a blend of social intelligence and human-like characteristics. According to the university's news release, Nadine boasts of her personality, mood swings, and emotions making her a unique creation. Nadine is not merely a statistical figure, but a dynamic entity designed to interact with humans on a personal level. Professor Nadia Tolman, her human creator envisions a future where robots like Nadine will become ubiquitous in both professional and domestic settings, serving as companions, aides, and even healthcare providers. Nadine's physical appearance mirrors that of Tolman, complete with soft skin, flowing brunette hair, and the ability to smile warmly, maintaining eye contact, and offer a handshake. She possesses the remarkable ability to express a range of emotions, responding happily or sadly depending on the context of the conversation. Furthermore, Nadine has a remarkable memory, capable of recognizing individuals and recalling past interactions, much like a human would. Despite some initial apprehension from public, with some finding Nadine creepy or scary, experts believe that such fears will dissipate as the benefits of this technology becomes more apparent. Professor Carlos Gustieren, a leading expert in machine learning, dismisses the concerns about robots posing a threat to humanity emphasizing the positive impact of AI in enhanced safety and efficiency. Grace Hong Kong's Hanson Robotics unveiled Grace, a humanoid robot designed to be a game-changer in the healthcare industry. Grace is not just a machine, she is a high-tech assistant for doctors, equipped with sensors like a thermal camera that can detect a patient's temperature and pulse. This functionality helps doctors diagnose illnesses and administer treatments more effectively. But Grace isn't just about medical assistance. She's also a companion for patients specializing in senior care with the ability to converse in three languages, English, Mandarin, and Cantonese. Grace can engage in social interactions and even provide talk therapy. According to David Hansen, the visionary behind Hansen Robotics, robots like Grace are meant to work alongside medical professionals, enhancing their capabilities rather than replacing them. By integrating AI and robots into healthcare, valuable data can be gathered to better assess patient well-being. Grace's introduction came at a pivotal moment during the COVID-19 pandemic, where there was a growing need for telehealth solutions and contactless care. Alter At the new National Theatre in Tokyo, a remarkable unveiling took place, captivating audiences with the debut of Alter 3, the latest creation by Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro of Osaka University. This humanoid android, a part of an ambitious artificial life science research, showcased its talent by performing a segment from the innovative, scary beauty and android opera by Kichiro Shibuya. Alter 3 represents a leap forward in android technology. It features a striking appearance with a transparent body that exposes its intricate machinery and a face devoid of specific age or gender characteristics. Developed in collaboration with Mixi Corporation, this android incorporates a sophisticated artificial neural network developed by researchers at the University of Tokyo, enabling it to interact with its environment and exhibit human-like behaviors. 
Unlike its predecessors, Alter 3 boasts enhanced facial expressions, particularly around the mouth for singing and improved overall expressiveness. It is equipped with advanced human sensing systems and vocalization capabilities allowing for more immersive and engaging interactions with its audience. One of the most exciting aspects of Alter 3's performance is its improved immediacy of body expression and dynamic movement, making its movements more lifelike and captivating. Previous Ultra models have demonstrated their talents alongside chamber orchestras in both Australia and Japan, with Ultra 3 taking center stage in a groundbreaking performance that showcased its ability to conduct and sing alongside a live orchestra. Despite having the lyrics, melody and structure of the music pre-programmed, Ultra 3's conducting motions were generated in real time during the performance, adding a sense of spontaneity and artistry to its movements. Erika a team of scientists in Japan is teaching a humanoid robot named Erika how to laugh in response to human laughter. This robot can detect when a person is laughing and decide if it is appropriate to laugh back. It can respond with two kinds of laughs, a small <laughs> chuckle or a more hearty giggle. This research, recently published in the journal Frontiers in Robotics and AI, aims to create more empathetic AI systems. While many people might find the idea of a robot laughing at their jokes strange, the researchers believe it could help robots build better relationships with humans. Erica, with her ability to laugh and engage in conversations using a human-like voice and expressive eye movements, represents a new wave of robots designed to understand and respond to human emotions. Traditionally, robots have been used for tasks like stacking boxes or harvesting vegetables. However, with the domestic robot industry expected to grow to $19 billion by 2027, there is increasing interest in creating robots that can understand and interact with humans on a more emotional level. In this study, the scientists analyzed over 80 dialogues between male university students and Erica, originally operated by female actors. They categorized different laughs as social or mirthful. By training Erica to differentiate between these types of laughter, the researchers hope to improve her ability to engage in conversations and build rapport with humans. Ida A humanoid robot sporting a sleek black bob with bangs and dressed in a bright orange shirt and denim overalls took center stage at the House of Lords Communications and Digital Committee. This unique robot named after Ada Lovelace, the pioneering mathematician known as the first computer programmer, engaged with the committee to discuss this intersection of technology and art. Ida's appearance is striking with its humanoid face and robotic arms, but its capabilities extend far beyond its looks. Created in 2019 by Aiden Miller, a team of scientists at Oxford University, Ida relies on artificial intelligence to create art. It paints portraits, including notable figures like Queen Elizabeth II and Billie Eilish, using AI algorithms and cameras in its eyes to guide its brush strokes. The robot also delves into poetry, utilizing an AI algorithm to study various poetic styles and subjects. Despite its ability to discuss subjective experiences, Ida clarified to the committee that it does not possess subjective experiences itself. Miller emphasized that Ida's purpose is not to endorse specific technologies, but rather to serve as a contemporary art project exploring the implications of technology in our society. However, the robotic's appearance before the committee encountered a hiccup when it shut down momentarily and needed to be rebooted, leading Miller to humorously adorn it with sunglasses during the reboot process. Ida's presence and creations provoke contemplation on the evolving relationship between technology and art, offering a unique perspective on how these changes influence culture and consciousness. Ameka Ameka a lifelike humanoid robot created by British company Engineered Arts makes its first real-life appearance recently. Gaining attention after a viral video last year prompted a response from Elon Musk. With a grey face and human-like face movements, Ameka can speak and interact with people, even displaying annoyance if its nose is poked. Equipped with cameras in its eyes or face detection, Ameka can lock onto and communicate with specific individuals. It also features microphones in each ear to track sound direction and has a chest speaker for clear communication. While Ameka boasts various features, including the ability to engage in conversations and ask questions, it currently cannot walk. The company is exploring this possibility but wants the robot's legs to resemble human legs, which is a complex task. Ameka serves as a research platform for future robotic technology and is utilized for educational and entertainment purposes. The company envisions a future where robots like Ameka could assist humans in settings like shopping centers or airports, providing directions or aiding various tasks. 
So which of these are your favorite? Let us know in the comment box below. Thank you for watching. Until next time.